to today's tutorial. Today we'll be showing you a spring race day look and also how to turn that into an evening look. So your first step before you apply your makeup is to apply a moisturiser. If you have a moisturiser that has an SPF already that is fine, otherwise apply your sunscreen or your BB cream. One thing to remember is if you're applying multiple products with SPF in it, you're getting a higher SPF factor. The latter will be your protective SPF. So once you've applied that, you can start with the initial process of your makeup, which is your primer. This primer is a silicon base, so it has a smoothing effect. And you need to make sure that it is dried properly because the ingredient of the silicon doesn't mix with the foundation. So first we apply that. A BB cream is something like a moisturiser. It does multiple things. So some BB creams have a tint like a foundation. They also improve radiance in the skin. Some have anti-aging factors. Some also help for pore reduction. There is a lot on the market, especially in the Asian market. You've got your main brands here like Garnier, L'Oreal and Nude by Nature. So we're just going to apply this over the whole face. Usually when I'm applying the face products, I start from the inner cheek, moving around to the chin, to the other cheek and then to the forehead. For foundation, we'll also go down the neck if necessary. So when I'm applying a primer, I use a foundation brush. This is just a simpler and cleaner way to use it. When I'm using a foundation brush, I always use an artificial hair. For some people, concealing redness is a concern. We, as girls, we always like to have that perfect complexion. So a concealer is just helping to neutralise that before moving on to enhance the complexion. For your race day, you're likely to be out in the hot weather, so a natural coverage is going to be better for your foundation. Having that thick foundation on all day isn't going to be good for your skin, so go opt for the natural look rather than really thick makeup. For this highlighter product, I'm using a liquid. It is very white, but once you blend it in, this isn't noticeable, and remember we're applying this before your foundation. Just get the excess off your finger and just lightly pat it in. I don't know if you can see, it's just really light, natural, really subtle highlight of the cheekbone. Starting out from the inner cheek. If you have a tan and you're matching your foundation to your tan or if you're matching your foundation to your face and your body is a little bit darker, blending down the neck will just help to have that gradient effect so it's not noticeable. Just using a pressed powder but you can use a loose powder depending on what your preference is. Some loose powders are going to give you that finer finish, other pressed powders will also help when you're using your brush, you can still get that fine finish. So we're just lightly dusting over the skin. I've just got a bit of a eyelid primer. So this is going to help stop your eyeshadow from creasing and colour fading. Because you're going to be out all day, you've primed your face because you want that to last. Don't forget about your eyeshadow. I'm going to apply a blonde eyeshadow powder because she's got blonde hair and I want to match that and we don't want to go too dark. Sometimes if you use a colour that's a bit too dark and can be a bit too harsh on the face and you can just look a bit drawn. We just want to naturally fill out the brows. After you've applied the brow powder, I'm going to brush through with a mascara wand. This is just going to help to get any excess product. 
You can use a brow pencil, a brow mascara, brow powder, it's personal preference again. For some people with an oilier complexion or if you tend to feel the heat more and sweat more, a pencil is recommended, otherwise you can use a brow powder, but use a brow gel to help set the powder. Now that we've done the brows and the primer on the lids has dried, we can move on to our eyeshadow. For our first step, I'm going to apply this, you could describe it as a coppery top or a peachy top or even a honey brown. There's lots of different descriptions for how you could interpret this colour. So we're going to apply this one over the middle of the lid moving out to almost covering the whole lid. One thing that you will notice when you use an eyelid primer is that the colours are intensified a lot more. So you don't need to use as much eyeshadow. Once we've applied that, we're just going to blend out lightly. We don't want any harsh lines. So next we're going to apply a peachy coppery gold colour. You could use gold, you could use bronze, or you could use the mixture like I'm doing. So we're going to apply this on the inner eye. This is going to help to open up the eye. So when you apply that, make sure you're blending it out. So it's blending in with that initial eyeshadow you applied. We're going to apply your crease colour. So this is a chocolate brown. I'm just going to use this one, but you could always use a darker colour like this. It's up to you. But for this colour, we want to just really lightly do it. We're going to make it darker for the evening look. So first, just create it subtly. So now your final step for your eyeshadow is applying your highlighter. I'm using this cream colour which is a semi-matte, so it still has a little bit of shine in it. You can always use a high shine one like these, it's up to you. For this look, we're wanting it a little bit more natural, so you don't necessarily have to have that high shine. Your next step, we're going to create a thin line using a liquid liner. You can use black or brown, today we're using black. We want to create a really thin line, really close to that lash line. We're just going to end at the end of the eyelid. Next step is applying your mascara. So for the purpose of this, I'm using a disposable wand. For the lower lashes, I like to use a little mini mascara brush. This just helps, it makes it easier for everyone, especially if you've got short lashes. Because it's smaller, if you're using a bigger one, you run the risk of either getting it in your eye or touching the bottom. So even though touch-ups are really easy to fix, this just saves you time. Next, we move on to blush. I'm going to use this peachy coloured blush. It just brings out that freshness. To help soften your blush, also you can use a stippling brush or a highlighter brush. You can apply highlighter if you want. For today, for this look, I'm not because you're going to be out all day. It's most likely going to be a hot day, so we don't want to look too shiny. So I'm just going to use it just to help soften the blush a little. We're using a peachy pink nude lip colour. So for your lip liner you want to find one that is either matching to the lipstick or one that's nude that matches to your lip colour. This is the lip colour. You can either apply it straight from the tube or use a lip brush to add precision. This one is Revlon 413 in Twinkled Pink. So 
for the gloss, we're just going to apply on the center of the lips and the cupid's bow. This is just to create that fuller pout. So this completes your spring race day look and later we'll show you how to turn that into evening.